I'll show you how to do it. Yes. What is the first sentence? The king will protect the subjects. The first in the ninth question. Ninth question number nine, first sentence. The king will protect the subjects. Let's write that sentence and we'll do it together. Write that sentence. I will not write it on the board just now because it's there in front of you. The king will protect the subjects. Now, first thing what you need to do is find out which tense you will use. Future tense because it's will protect. So future tense we have to use. Yes. And do you remember the word for protect? The verb for protect? What verb you can use for protect? There are many options, not only one option. तुमसे है चेक करें तो तो ना तो माला एकदम सुखा दिस ले पड़ना होता है अच्छा दाखो देना तो हमारे लिए था या वरन सेक करूँ दाख पंटा के ना सब एकदम दिस ले बाकी नहीं है देखा दोन रह ले पाँच दम इतने पर मां दाख पत नहीं बसे इतने करने दाखो ना होगा तो सो प्रोटेक्ट कूड यू गेट द वर्ब Pala is one option. Pala also is to protect. There is one more option. We do not have only one to one translation. We always get options. So it can be verb Pala, Raksha also has same meaning. Raksha is also to protect. So you can use any of them. When the question is of translation, it will not be only one answer because it will not be only one option for the word. There can be more options. Apart from that, also you will get some options. Just now I remembered Pala and Raksha. But you might get three, four options also. For example, now this is the verb which we will be using in future tense. Okay. Now to use the future tense, which person and which number that will be decided by the The subject of the sentence. What is the subject of the sentence? The king. The king. So, what is the word for king? Okay. Now you are saying Ra. This is wrong. Because wait. Wait, because Rajan is the root word in Rajaha, and it's not Rajaha in nominative singular. Rajan. Have we learned? Have we learned word ending in now? Not yet. So we don't know what is nominative singular. Okay. Actually, I will tell you what is nominative singular, but I will give you another options. Raja is the nominative singular of Rajan, which we don't know. So, ma'am, how you are asking such thing? <laughs> so, there are, I said, as I said at the beginning, that there are many options. So, instead of using Rajan, which we have not learned, if you add Maha, if you add Maha to Raja, then that word becomes ending in O, Maharaja. And Maharaja is ending in a, so Maharaja. So that will not be a mistake then. If you use Rajan, it will be a mistake. If you use Maharaja, it will not be a mistake. 
and not only one option but there is another word which you might remember if you have heard nrupa nrupa is also ending in a so nrupa ha now we can use the words like i'll show you how many options we get bhumi pala bhumi pala not pala bhumi pala the one who protects earth is called as bhumi pala pala is to protect and the one who protects earth is bhumi pala same name for king and it's not only one bhumi pala there are many more options like all king <laughs> there are many more i am writing few of them i am writing few of them there are many more so there are many options if someone will write another option i have to still give it correct i can use any one actually any word which has the meaning earth can be added with pala or pa so bhumi pala shiti pala bhu pala prithvi pala dharani pala options as i said now i wrote shiti pa ha shiti pa that pa also has pa as the verb which means protect so same can be added for others also bhumi pa ha shiti pa ha bhu pa ha bhu pa ha is also one word for king if you know it bhu pa ha nu pa ha so i wrote just in well out of them but you will get many more as i said so for that you have to start reading as i told you last time read as much as possible as much as possible all the words having the meaning earth search them dhara o oh, dhara paha dharani paha prithvi paha prithvi palaha dharani palaha all words will give you king meaning king only unfortunately this root word rajan is not ending in a so that is wrong if you use raja then it's correct because nominative singular of rajan is raja but the rule says that in the compound in the compound what is compound do you know what is compound this is compound this is compound this is compound this is compound in a compounded word and there are two words coming together in the compound this rajan changes to raja ending in o that's the rule so if you are using only raja rajan only rajan then raja but if you add anything before that all the words will be ending in o got it yes so choose any of them now subject is third person singular so we have to use third person singular of future tense so let let me write suppose i have choose nurpaha as my word nurpaha now third person singular in future tense pala it 
It's 10th class. How many options you are getting? Just check. Palaishati also possible. Palaishati also possible. But if you are using Raksha, Raksha is not Atmane Padam. So only one option you will get. Rakshishati. Again, third person similar. So Maharajaha or Nupaha or Bhupalaha, Palaishati or Rakshishati or Palaishati. Now, read the new sentence again. The king will protect. We have finished the king and will protect. Now, what is left? What is left in the sentence? Subjects. Yes. The subjects means its people. The word for subjects is. Do you know the word for subjects? Raja. Raja. Very good. Praja is the word for subjects. Okay, Praja. And Praja is used in plural because there are many people always. So praja is never used in singular. Praja is always plural. Okay, so ending in A, plural, but which case do we need? Accusative because it's, it's object of the sentence. Yes. So what will be ending in a uh, like mala or laka accusative plural? Yes. So nupaha prajaha palaishati or nupaha prajaha palaishati or nupaha prajaha rakshishati <coughs> or any other word from this list which we have made. Jana upper like the Pakta Kavi, some of the vision of a problem. The year. Bhavartha Bagita Zapata, and of kids for her. But Jana is ending in O. So that means it's a non feminine word. It's a masculine word. To Manus, Toma, the Prajaman the Mun Tite, Stealing Yete, Tite, Jana Akar and the Pulling Vishapa. So, what will be Jana in accusative plural? Jana means person. If we consider person instead of subjects, it will be like Jana. So, accusative plural of Jana ending in a plural, masculine. What is the accusative plural? Janan. Janan, very good. Very good. So, Nupaha Janan Palayishati. I can give you correct for Janan also. Not You don't remember Praja. Praja is an individual word, but if you write Jana, Jana is person, people. So, you can write Janan. So, there are many options like that. There is one more word, Nru, which means again Jana. Nara. 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 So, you, if you write that, that is also done. Nara is ending in a, nru is ending in ru. So once you start learning more and more, you will get many options. Naran palayishati, nun palayishati. Now suppose by mistake someone writes janam, not using plural. Suppose by mistake someone writes janam. Still, I will not cut the marks because you have understood accusatives. You have not understood plural, but you have understood accusatives. I might give you all marks. I might give you full marks, I am saying. I might give you. If I cut, I cut half marks. I don't cut one fourth. So I don't cut one Either I cut full or I cut half. Okay. So I like everything is correct. So let me give Janam. The sentence is not wrong. The meaning is changing a little bit. But 
we can say janam in the sense that each and every person i want to say so i said janam so it will not be given totally wrong that you remember if you understand the case correctly you will not get it wrong preferably plural because subjects it's written subjects that means it's what is expected is plural but by chance someone writes singular still you will get marks i just want to show you that don't be afraid what did i write what should i do you go here and there a little bit it's okay try to avoid yes because in sanskrit we have special plural singular dual special meanings of them but if your case is correct the meaning changes little bit because your case is correct so i'll not cut your full marks i might not cut your half mark also i might give you full marks so just try don't be afraid don't be ashamed don't leave don't go away i will not try don't do that okay the another thing i want to tell you that it's in that paper it's written attempt any four yes any four any four sentences there is a option but in sanskrit paper this is grammar paper so even if it is written like any four you write all five by i am taking your answers suppose this is correct this is correct this goes wrong this goes wrong and this is correct yes suppose <laughs> one two three i will give you three marks even if this goes wrong even if this goes wrong you will get marks for this so attempt whole paper <laughs> when it is grammar see you can't attempt whole like in other papers i i don't know whether your teachers have discussed with you the uh, paper pattern but in other papers you have a question of four marks for example now you have uh, the professor is teaching you uh, niti literature so some words is given okay some words is given and then the question is translate the words with the notes with your own notes and then there are three given and attempt any two suppose i am giving you hypothetical example suppose then you don't have time to write the whole meaning of the third verse isn't it it's too much sometimes you have questions of eight marks 10 marks suppose i'll give you example again uh, write what is niti literature and the types of uh, niti literature you get in buddhist literature and uh, something like that some question where it is descriptive question a short note five mark short note it's time consuming to write five mark short note because it's one page extra which you need to need so there you don't write but in sanskrit grammar paper it's just one one sentence one one word which is extra i think you should attempt the whole paper because even if you go wrong in third fourth you will get three marks if your fifth answer is correct if you totally don't know you don't want to attempt don't attempt it's not force but i am giving you a clue that don't leave next week you are going to write open book test so if i give write any six write all eight because even if you go one or two wrong still you will get all six correct and you will get good marks then in sanskrit paper it's not time consuming to attempt extra don't attempt extra if it is five marks 10 marks questions it's not possible but in grammar paper all questions are one or half hardly any question is of two marks also hardly any question of two marks otherwise always one mark half mark one mark half mark questions so there you are came wrong got it got my point <clears throat> try to write each and everything you might get wrong somewhere but still you will get marks that's what has happened in your paper paper so where you got wrong still you got the marks because you have attempted the extra so in grammar paper always try to write the whole paper and you get enough time if you are very slow writer write slowly then don't attempt extra then you will not finish it but otherwise in grammar paper i suggest that you write each and everything even if it is given write any four write any five 
write any three. Even if that's the suggestion, you don't do that. Write all. How many? How much time? Yeah. I'm thinking of, I have not yet said the paper. I'm thinking of 20 marks paper, 15 or 20 marks. Once I sit for setting the paper, I'll understand how much I can cover, 15 or 20 marks. So minimum one hour to one hour, 15 minutes for writing. Once I will set the paper, I will understand whether it's 15 marks. I'm going to set the paper in next two days. Open book test only, I'm telling you. One hour or one hour, 15 minutes. So next Tuesday, we'll start at three. By the time you all come and sit and start, it will be 3.10, 3.15 might be. So 3.15 to 4.15 or 4.30 maximum. Not that. One hour or one hour, 15 minutes max. If it is 15 marks, only one hour. If it is 20 marks, I'll give you one hour and 15 minutes. Okay? For next week's open book test. But my very important suggestion is that write, attempt all questions. Don't leave any question for option. Okay. Can we go to the next sentence then? Can we go to the next sentence? What is the next sentence? I could not hear you. Okay. Yes, where did you live then? Yes, then is Tada. Tada. Now tell me first thing, first thing what we decided. First find out the tense. tense. Always find out the tense first. So which tense you are going to use in this sentence? Past. past tense. Where did you live? Where did you live? Did you live means it's past tense. It's not where do you live. Not present tense. Where will you live? It's where did you live? So it's past tense. Then you. It's you. So which person? It can be Tuam. It can be Yuam. It can be Yuyam. Actually, it can be any. Because in Sanskrit, we say Tuam, Yuam, Yuyam. But in English, we don't say you, both, you, all. We just say you. If English sentence is given, we don't say you, you, both, you, all. In English, we don't say that. Because we are translating from Sanskrit, we have to say we, two, we, all. But you, if it is only you, you can write Tuam also. You can write Yuam also. You can write Yuyam also. Anything from second person will do. I'm giving you that how will you go wrong? Even if you write any three options, you will not go wrong. Don't worry. Because you is also plural in English. You, you. So even if you write dual, I'll not give you wrong because in dual, we don't have you both. Ah, if I want you to purposely use dual, I will say you both. I'll write it in the sentence, you both. Then you will write only that option. But when it's just general you, you can translate it in singular also, plural also. Because in English, you don't have that difference. So it, it can be tvam, it can be you, yam. Both options possible. Yes? But remember, if you are using tvam, you have to use second person singular of the verb. If you are using you, yam, second person plural of the verb. Yes? Okay. So suppose I'm using... What is the verb live? Was Okay, you are using jeeva. Jeeva. Anything can be used. Was is also to live. Jeeva is also to live. Uh, 
Yes. because you are using Twam. Twam. Yes. Putra. Twam. Putra. Avasaha. I can add Tada any Tada Twam Putra Avasaha Twam Tada Putra Avasaha Twam Putra Avasaha Tada. In Sanskrit, the word order doesn't matter. So Tada can be written at the first place, second place, third place, last place, doesn't matter. Even if you write Twam Putra Avasaha Tada, that is also correct. These four words are required. You write Avasaha at the first place also doesn't matter. If you write, if you write Avasaha Putra Twam Tada, that is also correct. If you start with, in English, in English, what happens in English? You have to start with WH question first. In Sanskrit, not necessarily. So you can write Putra at the end. Where? At the end. Doesn't matter. Because Sanskrit, as I, we have discussed in the earlier classes, word order is quite free, free word order. So I can write Tada Kvam Putra Avasaha, Kvam Putra Avasaha, Tada Tada. From our Sahaputra Tada, anything can be written. And if you are using Uyam, if you are using Uyam, then our Saha will change to our Saha will change to. I'm using plural Uyam. Yes, Uyam plural. So, avasato, yuyam putra avasato, and this tada and putra will not change because they are indeclinables, isn't it? They will not change. They are indeclinables. Tada is also indeclinable. Putra is also indeclinable. So it won't change. It will remain as it is. <coughs> Only twelve. Because you have changed the subject, the verb will change. These two words will not change. Got it? Clear? So, the sentences which are asked in the exam, the verbs are very simple which you have learned. Like vasa, jiva, khada. The verbs which we have learned in the class. Protect, raksha, pala. We have learned it. So the same will be asked in the exam. You will not be asked to uh, interpret in English, interpret. You have not learned the word for interpret, so that will not be asked. The simple verbs will be asked. Okay, next sentence. I will run in the morning. Hmm. As I said, it's simple things which are asked. Tense. Yes, first check the tense. Which tense you will be using here? I drink milk in the morning. I drank, sorry, it's drank. So past tense. Yes? I drank milk in the morning. Drank. In in the Marathi, those who are following Marathi, there are some mistakes. Huh? So it's in red. Those who are following Marathi, just there are some mistakes there. Yes, you will be using Piba, but past tense. Piba past tense again. Apibam. I drank milk in the morning. Apibam. Yes. Apibam. Very good, correct. Apibam. But the other words we have to still write. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Prata. 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 Yes. Prata. It can be Prataha, it can be Prabhate, it can be Prataha Kale. There are again many options. Yeah. Prataha, Prabhate, Pratakale. Yes. 
This is used in locative. This is used in locative. This is indeclinable. Rakaha. Locative because it's time. Time and place always comes with locative. So it's time. So Pratakale locative is used. Now there is something else in that sentence. What is left? What did I drink? Milk. So the word for milk. There are many words. One, as you said, in Pali it will be Duddha, but here it's Dugdha. Dugdha ending in a neuter word. And which case do we need, right, need to write? Which case we do we need to use in the sentence? Accusative, because it's object again. So, dugdham. And now again, there are many words. For yes, is also a word for milk. Shira is also a word for milk. So again, you get many options. There are many more for Dugda again. Yes, but same thing happens. Sorry, Sheila. Same thing happens. For yes, we have not yet learned where word anything in so. Word will be payaha. Accusative singular is payaha, which we have not yet learned. It's like manas, payas. Ending in server, so we are not yet learning. So instead of using paya, you can use word ending in a, a, or simpler, e, e, u, which we have learned. So now we have not yet learned. Dukdam, payaha, shiram, any other word if you remember? Nyastam. K. K. A. S. Show me the word. Not the Question is not the word for custom, not for, not for, I am not saying question, question, no, question is not the word. You show me the word if you create somewhere in dictionary. There are many words, even I don't remember all the words for milk. Might be possible some other word, but show me if you create some other word. There are many words for Gai Pasun Tayar Zalele, Arthani Kup Shabdata. Are these sentences clear up to this? Next sentence. Yes, two elephants are wandering in the forest. See, I have clearly mentioned two elephants. Now, Which, which tense you will be using? Yes, present tense because it's are wandering. Now what is the verb for wandering? The verb, yes, present tense. But which verb is used for wandering? Wander. Chara hmm? ahe. Baretsit. Baretsit. Chara apana tari barabar mein. I'm not going to
there are many atok brahma chara there might be more no to wander it's a vow we hara we hara he hara is also so there are many as i said you might i will think for some time i might i might get more so any verb will be used given correct now very important is that the subject is in third person dual elephant is not i not you it's third person and it's dual so third person dual in present tense so charo charataha attataha ramataha viharataha everywhere ul is used in the forest for these three words in the forest we have only one word which is to be used which case you will use yes locative locative and forest what is the word for forest vane vane perfect vane there are other words for vana aranye so you can say aranye you can say vane yes even if you don't write dwau it's correct dwa no need to say dwau only gachau because gachau gives you two elephants so no need to write dwau we have not yet learned the numbers 1 2 3 4 no, no not no need because gachau has the meaning of two elephants na no? no need to add that dwau dwau because you got it correct but if it is a feminine word dwe yeah we have not yet learned it so don't write that stop in open book test you might be able to write but in final test you might not be able to write because we have not learned numbers yeah so just gachau <laughs> enough gachau गजौ वने गजौ अरण्ये नाउ अगेन देर आर मेनी वर्ड्स फॉर गजौ देर आर मेनी वर्ड्स फॉर गजौ मेनी वर्ड्स सो इवन इफ यू यूज अदर वर्ड्स फॉर गजौ दैट विल आल्सो बी गिवन करेक्ट in the forest so locative gajau gajau because it's dual i'll write gajau for you if you want i'll write gajau because two elephants gajau now you can add these words in your verb list we have learned many verbs i don't know whether all these are written brahma at vihara chara you can even write chalataha chala is to walk but walk means wandering also so you can even write chalataha one more option you got i'll give you correct and if it is walk challenge to walk but walk means what it's wandering so you can write chalata also you can get many options that's what i want to say not exactly word to word any option which gives the same sense will be given correct how many options we got five options we got just now if we think more we'll get more options and for gaja also there are other words like hasti kari many yeah. words are there danti but the all these words which we said just now are ending in in which we have not learned nagav is a word for perfect and it is ending in a word so nagav if you write it's correct mala mala na because it's just the just the aya aya mun shabd yaycha 
पायस या शब्दाचा अर्थ खीर असतो पय पासून बनणार ते पायस पायस म्हणजे खीर संस्कृत म्हणजे तुम्हाला खीर म्हणायचं असेल तर पायसम असंच म्हणतात आणि केरळात पायसच म्हणतात त्याला कारण तिथे पायसम खीर जे बनतात त्याला पायसच म्हणतात मायामध्ये केरळात नाही सगळीकडेच म्हणतात बऱ्याच ठिकाणी म्हणतात पायस याचा अर्थ खीर होतो नाही दुधाशी बन दुधापासून बनवलेला असा अर्थ आहे थोडक्यात त्याचा पयाशी रिल विच इज पया हा संबद्ध पायसम असेच सगळे शब्द तयार होतात ना आपल्याकडे मानस कशाला म्हणतो आपण मानस मानस संबंध मानस मानस म्हणजे रिलेटेड टू माइंड म्हणूनच मी सांगते ना इथे जे महाराष्ट्रात वाढलेले ते खूप फॉर्च्युनेट आहेत त्यांना भरपूर भाषा येत असल्यामुळे सोपं जातं कळायला हे बिचारे ही बाहेरून लोक आले आहेत त्यांना खरंच कळायला अवघड जातं त्यांना नाही शब्द माहिती पायस वगैरे हे शब्द त्यांच्या भाषेत नाही आहेत ना तरी त्या दिवशी एक शब्द सापडला त्यांचा आणि आपला खूप जवळ असलेला कुठला होता तो मध मड्ड मड्ड म्हणले होते ते मधाला सो इन द क्वेश्चन ऑफ धिस टाईप ट्रान्सलेट इन टू संस्कृत ऑर ट्रान्सलेट इन टू इंग्लिश इट्स नॉट ओनली वन ऑप्शन यू विल गेट मेनी ऑप्शन अँड ऑल ऑप्शन विल बी गिव्हन करेक्ट इन एक्झाम इव्हन इफ यू चर ऑर रोहिहर ऑर भ्रम एव्हरीथिंग विल बी गिव्हन करेक्ट next sentence we will bow to lord hmm we will bow to lord buddha future tense namo yes and it's we so vayam first person plural so our verb also has to be first person plural hmm hmm इरेग्युलर now very important is that even if you don't write vayam i have to give you correct even if you don't write the word vayam still i have to give the sentence correct why because namsya maha will come only with vayam so even if it is not said it's okay like here also this sentence also aham pratah dugdham was it past tense what what was that i don't remember right past tense past tense dugdham apibam yes that was the sentence so even if i write pratah dugdham apibam it's correct even if i don't write aham avam vayam tvam yuvam yuyam still the sentence is correct because in english so in sanskrit you can drop subject doesn't matter why does it matter because this apibam apibam is coming only in first person singular so even if i don't say aham for example buddham sharanam gachami नाव आय कॅन युज इवन अनदर वर्ल्ड 
another verb yeah. but vanda is atmane padam yes we have learned vanda is atmane padam so what will be form of vanda in future yes vandishamahe because it's first person plural vandishamahe yes yes i have got one more option pro plus nomo that can also be used yes i can use that also but if you are using pro plus nomo you have to be careful that this noun will change to no because of pro so if you pro noun syamaha so you use any verb doesn't matter there are many options vanda nama pro plus nama archa puja any options you can use got it how to do it which case you are using why are you using that case have you understood why buddham in accusative why it is used in accusative object very good object of the sentence so it is used in accusative hmm वंद हा धातू आत्मने पदी आहे आणि नम हा धातू परस्मे पदी आहे त्यामुळे तिथे वंदिशा मे लिहिला आणि नमस्या महा मध्ये परस्मे पद असल्यामुळे परस्मे पदाचा प्रत्यय लावला पालित तुम्हाला सगळे धातू दोन्ही याच्यात वापरता येतात संस्कृत मध्ये ते नाही आहे रिजिडिटी आहे की हा धातू परस्मे पदातच आहे हा धातू आत्मने काही धातू आहेत जे उभय पदात आहेत दोन्हीच चालतात पण सगळे नाही आहेत त्यामुळे आपल्याला त्याप्रमाणे बघायला लागलो so is that question clear how it will be asked in the exam simple sentences to translate like this and now let's go to the 10th question next question all sentences are over the five sentences so next exercise is translate into english or marathi what in the in the file order in the file sentence we will bow to the no after that no and the no no lord to lord to lord oh lord 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 word is left left okay so what can you write for lord what can you add for lord i think the when the crowd is yes there is a word called bhagavat but we have not yet learned the forms of bhagavat because it's ending in the bhagavat means lord yeah yes if you are using bhagavat then what is the accusative of bhagavat bhagavantam is accusative you have come across bhagavat word many times in your uh, text bhagavat bhagavat many times 
So accusative of Bhagavat is Bhagavantam Buddham. Now I have not learned Bhagavat. So what can I do? I have not learned Bhagavat. How can I use accusative of it? Use other words. Lord can be Ishwara. Lord can be Deva. So Devam, Ishwaram can also be used because Lord has many other. It can be any other word which is ending in A and which we have learned. So you can write Devam Buddham or Ishwaram Buddham, Isham Buddham, Isha, Ishwara, Deva. All our words are ending in O. Bhagavad is perfect word. But we have not yet learned ending in the word. So we are using the other options. But if you are if you write Bhagavan Buddham, then it's wrong. Because Bhagavan will be nominative and Buddham will be accusative. Then it will go wrong. Then you can compound the word Bhagavad Buddham. If you don't know Bhagavad in accusative, make a compound. Bhagavad Buddham. Join it. Compounded word. Then it will not be wrong. Bhagavad Buddham. I don't know Bhagavad in accusative. So I, I make a compound. Bhagavad Buddham. The will change to the Bhagavad Buddha. Okay, so uh, there are many options. Next and next exercise. We have finished practicing from English to Sanskrit. Now we have to practice from Sanskrit to English. Both ways, na? translation will be both ways. Check your syllabus. It's written in the <laughs> syllabus. Translation both ways. English to Sanskrit and Sanskrit to English is your syllabus. Start with first sentence. Pratah kale vyayamam karomi iti mama nishchayaha. Pratah kale vyayamam karomi iti mama nishchayaha. तीन लोग का ना पटकन अनुवाद है ना रे कारण प्रातः काल व्यायाम निश्चय है सब ये शब्द में आते हैं हो ना हमें मराठी की माँ हम्म हम्म यस इंग्लिश में लेकर आए जाके थोड़ा सा अपने लाइफ यस इट वाज टू मच नॉइज ना टू मच नॉइज Hmm? Yes. So you need to change little bit for English. 
I decide to exercise in the morning. Or there are many more options. Nishchay, yaha sati bhakta decision asa decide nahi hai. Anek options hai. Yes. It's my resolution to exercise in the morning. Exercise in the morning is my decision, is what I have thought. So there is not word to word translation, not possible. In English, you don't say it's decision. So I decide to exercise in the morning. It's my decision to exercise in the morning. This is my decision to exercise in the morning. So you need to change a little bit to get the sense of the sentence. You have to understand the sense and according to English, you have to change it. Because in English, usually we say first, it's my decision. You don't say exercise in the morning. It's my decision. We don't say it in that way. So it's my decision to exercise in the morning. Or I have decided to exercise in the morning. Because iti mama nishchayaha doesn't tell you any tense. Is there any tense used in the sentence? There is no tense used in the karomi is for vyayamam karomi. Yes, vyayamam karomi is there. But iti mama nishchayaha there is no tense used. So I decided I decide, it can be past tense, it can be future, not future, but at least present tense. I decide to exercise in the morning. It's my decision to exercise in the morning. My decision is to practice or to, to exercise in the morning. Many options you get like that. Yes, you're doing next sentence. Aham parayaha sola puranagarat patra agacham. Name of the city, yes, it's a name of the city. Yes, came. Yes, it's past tense. Past tense, no? Okay. Present tense, madam. Me yato. Am yato past tense, madam. A plus gamma gacha because gamma gacha is to go, and yes, a plus gamma gacha is to come. So came. Because it's past tense, came. Yes. Solapur city, you can say Nagare city. Yes. But what is Paraihaha? Here, yes, here, here. But what is Parayaha? That is still left. When? Parayaha is telling you when? Day before yesterday. Yesterday is Yaha and Parayaha is day before yesterday. Yesterday, yes, the day before yesterday. Barabari. I came here. I came here from Solapur city day before yesterday. Or day before yesterday, I came here from Solapur city. From city named Kolapur or from Solapur city. Anything you can write. The way it is said in English, the city named Solapur also can be said. It's the name of the city.
okay we have learned let me tell you we have learned yaha and we have learned shvaha do you remember these two words do you remember these two indicatives yaha what is the meaning of yaha yaha is yesterday and shvaha is tomorrow and if you add param shaha shaha is yesterday and if you add para shaha day before yesterday shvaha is tomorrow and para shvaha is day after tomorrow this is tomorrow and this is day after tomorrow so the para shaha word is used there and what is word for today okay okay i will tell you i'll tell you today it's monday monday adhya 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 is today monday shvaha tuesday shvaha tuesday parashvaha wednesday parashvaha wednesday so day after tomorrow parashvaha yaha sunday yaha sunday and parayaha saturday got it so adya somavasaraha is adya somavasaraha is means today is in english we have the phrase day before yesterday in english the we say day before, before the day before yesterday the day after tomorrow that is parashvaha and paraiha we need that word the day before yesterday we have to say in english so can i just like two days ago then it will not be paraiha exactly two days ago will be dinadvaya purvam not necessarily only two days we said two days back means it can be three days also not exactly paraiha paraiha means exactly day before yesterday <laughs> parashwa is day after tomorrow day after tomorrow if you add para if you add para one more day is added <laughs> now i will confuse you more pra paraiha and pra parashwa next to next there are possibilities in sanskrit you have such words apan marathit mhanto aaj udya parva terva to terva hai aaj kal parva terva apya kade marathi shabd hai tyamay karayla sopa hai do you have such words in vietnamese do you say have such words for after two days do you say anything in vietnamese today tomorrow day after tomorrow day two days after tomorrow <laughs> so i i read pra parashwa pra paraya अजुन एक ऐड कराए का नहीं कारण तो एक आठा हो जो परवा तेरवा मन एक वीकनी वगैरह सप्ताह सप्ताह नहीं ऐड कराएंगे आपण मराठीत उद्या परवा तेरवा म्हणतो ना तेच येथे उद्या परवा तेरवा
त्याच्यासाठी संस्कृत मध्ये अथ एक कदा संस्कृतच्या स्टोरीज सुरू होतात अथ एक कदा अथ एक कदा एक समय याच अर्थाने म्हणजे समटाईम अथ एक कदा समटाईम अथ एक कदा कॅन वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट सेंटेन्स वॉट्स द प्रॉब्लेम नो प्रॉब्लेम नो प्रॉब्लेम यू आर कम्पेरिंग विथ व्हिएतनाम इज इफ यू हॅव सच डेट येस यू आर कम्पेरिंग इट विथ व्हिएतनाम इज ओके नेक्स्ट सेंटेन्स व्याघ्रस्य उच्च ध्वनीना पशव कंपन्ते व्याघ्रस्य उच्च ध्वनीना पशव कंपन्ते फर्स्ट फाइंड आउट वॉट इज पशवा वॉट इज कंपनते देन फाइंड आउट वॉट इज व्याघ्रस्य एंड वॉट इज उच्च ध्वनिना Yes, perfect. Animals. Frightened peksha sudha dusra word hai kampan tela. Shivar. Shivar. Scared is there but better to use kampan te. Shivar. Shivar. Yes. Hmm. घाबरतात म्हणण्यापेक्षा थरथरतात जास्त बेटर होत घाबरतात चुकीचं नाही आहे पण कंपनतेला जास्त अर्थ थरथरणे असा आहे लाऊड लाऊड नॉइस रोअर वी कॅन से रोअर इन इंग्लिश वी हॅव सिंपल वर्ड रोअर रोअर ऑफ रोअर ऑफ रोअर ऑफ व्याघ्रस्य व्याघ्र टायगर आपण मराठीत त्याला असं सुद्धा म्हणू शकतो उच्च ध्वनीच्या जी डरकाळी नाही वाघाच्या डरकाळीने पशु कापतात थरथरतात कापतात असं पण आपण म्हणू शकतो डरकाळी हा शब्द सुद्धा आपण वापरू शकतो उच्च ध्वनी म्हणजे काय डरकाळी डरकाळी साठी संस्कृत मध्ये शब्द माहितीये का गर्जना वाघाची गर्जना सिंहाची गर्जना गर्जना शब्द आहे ना पालीत पण म्हणला ना गर्जना खूप शब्द वापरू शकतो आपण उच्च ध्वनीच्या ऐवजी गर्जना या गर्जने गर्जने न गर्जन या असं पण म्हणता येत आकारांत आणि आकारांत गर्जन असा वापरला तर आकारांत गर्जना वापरला तर आकारांत दोन्ही वापरता येतात गर्जन असा पण शब्द आहे आणि गर्जना असा पण शब्द आहे जसं साधना आणि साधन साधन पासून दोन्ही शब्द तयार होतात साधना पण होतो आणि साधन पण होतो तसंच गर्जन पण होतो आणि गर्जना पण होतो वापरू शकतो बिकॉज ऑफ टायगर लाऊड नॉइज द अॅनिमल्स ट्रेम्बल्ड वन मोर गुड वर्ड ट्रेम्बल्ड Yes, shiver or tremble. No, not tremble. No past tense. Tremble. tremble. Only present tense because it's kampante, not past tense. Trembled, you would have used if it would have been a kampanto. Past tense would have been used. You could have said trembled. But not tremble, tremble. Tremble. 
the tremble shiver many options again you got in english also you get many options if you open thesaurus you might get two three more options in thesaurus in english thesaurus can you tell me can you tell me what is the root word in pashavaha what is the root word in pashavaha can you tell me root word in pashavaha not meaning i want root word not root word root word pashu we can't learn only ending in a and a we have to learn ending in e ending in u the dhvani also the earlier sentence no not this sentence only dhvani na dhvani na can you tell me what is what case is used in dhvani na uchcha dhvani na so what which case is used in dhvani na instrumental because it's instrument of trembling yes it's instrument of trembling the tiger's roar is the instrument for trembling so it's used in so what is root word in dhvanina dhvani ending in e e like which word we have learnt ending in e kavi so what is instrumental of kavi instrumental of kavi kavina so dhvani dhvani na the animals came up at the low from of the tiger yes because of the roar of the tiger due to roar of the tiger the animals tremble and again many options many ways to write it रोरिंग 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 सेंटेंस इंग्लिश ऑफ द टाइगर चालू चालू इज एवरी वर्ड क्लियर उच्च ध्वनि is a compounded word ucha and dhvani dhvani is sound and ucha is loud so loud sound loud voice ucha dhvani ucha is adjective loud loud change the noise noise yes noise voice roar any words you can use sound all words noise voice sound roar high voice high noise yes now next jivane parishramena siddhi bhavati try to search the meaning jivane parishramena siddhi bhavati try to find out which case is used for each word then you will understand the meaning uh, yes it's present tense correct third person singular yes that is also correct third person singular yes siddhi is subject very good because it is used in nominative case nominative case 
Yes, it is used in nominative case. So, Marathi Karna and the cooks of Pede and Jeevana Tassare, Parisham Tassare, Siddhi Tassare. I have a case of them. I just have a case from Kurush. Marathi had a problem with them, which are another good question. Yes, locative. Yes, locative singular. You are right. Yes, it's correct. Yes. Siddhila Pal Manan to me Anuvat Karu Shakta and Mamme Te Bhavati La Pal Te Karu Shakta. Bhavati Se Ane Karta Asta Tas Kote Badal Te Aste Mete Ya Ya Reference Nito Badal Tu Artha. Yes, you have any doubt? Upon hmm. translation, you practice Kurtoyas. We have paper, part of the work, that's an award. The Hava Prashna, we have got to meet him. I 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 have got to meet can we go to the next sentence? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. 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 English? Yeah. 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 Success is achieved through hard work in life. Hard work. 
in life in life in the life that is better option there are many other options but better option is success is achieved by the hard work in the life सगळ्यात चांगल्या इंग्लिश मध्ये म्हणायचं असेल तर असं म्हणू शकतो ना आपण त्याचा अर्थ तोच आहे सिद्धीचे अर्थ अनेक होतात सिद्धी म्हणजे काय काही फायनल होणं असा अर्थ आहे त्याचा पण आता इथे आपण सिद्धी या अर्थाने म्हणतो कारण परिश्रमाला सिद्धी म्हणजे काय होत तर सक्सेस सिद्धी हॅज मेनी मिनिंग्स अकम्प्लिश हा पण अर्थ आहे सिद्धीचा अनेक अर्थ आहेत सिद्धीला yes it's become but i told that better option will be success is achieved through hard work or by hard work in life so to make it better english we can use achieved the verbs like this it's bhavati simple become but what is become so achieved gain success is gained you can say gain you can say achieved there are many other better options in english which you can use instead of bhavati become doesn't tell you the meaning exact meaning of the sentence so you can say gain achieved success is gained success is achieved or you can just use success as verb you succeed in life with hard work or one not you one succeeds in life with hard work one you can just mention one one is any one like that one in english you have that type of sentence one succeeds in life with hard work so there are many options in english which you can use केला आणि हिंदी अनुवाद जे फॉलो करतात ना त्यांच्या लक्षात येईल ते असंच असं लिहितील परिश्रम के परिश्रम से जीवन मे सिद्धी होती है तर होती है फक्त बदलतं बाकी सगळं तसंच राहतात ते खूप वाईट हिंदी अनुवाद असतात त्याच्याऐवजी आपण परिश्रमासाठी दुसरा शब्द जर देऊ शकलो तर जास्त चांगला ना कष्ट श्रम श्रम आणि परिश्रम पण सारखेच आहेत ना वेगळा वर्ड द्यावा अनुवादात अगदीच नसेल तर नका देऊ सिद्धी प्राप्त होते सिद्धी मिळते होती है असं जे हिंदीत करतात त्यांनी मला नक्की कळत नाही ना काय होती आहे म्हणजे काय त्यामुळे बेटर ट्रान्सलेशन ही अशी असतील की जिथे बदललंय थोडस तसं जर तसं नाही लिहिलेलं कॅन वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन देन लास्ट वन डिसेंबर मासे पुणे नगरे शैत्यम वर्धिष्यते दिस इज द फॅक्ट विच इज रिटर्न दे it's future tense yes yes vardishyate vardishyate exact meaning is vaad hone vritti hone hmm increase ho oh, increase again there will be many options in english which is better option you have to find out how do we say it in english that you need to find out exact word to word translation will not fit you might need to change yes in the month of december yes what is shaityam shaityam is cold so the cold will increase 
in the month of december in pune city this is packed it's going to be very cold this year correct now there are again many options in english it will be much colder in december in pune colder you can say colder yes cold colder if you are using colder means colder as compared to night right now so you are comparing comparative degree you are using it will be much colder in december month or the cold will increase in the december month of december or there will be increase in the cold in the december month so cold colder cold as adjective cold as noun many options you have in english in the month of december in the month of december or just in december not on we don't say on in english on the december month is used in locative so it's time so december month in the month of december so we said in in the month of december or in december in english we usually say in the month of december we don't say in december we say in the month of december that is the style of english or we can just say we can just say december will be colder in pune december will be colder in pune in the month of december or just december will be colder in the month of sorry december will be colder in pune then we are talking about december not about the cold got it are you getting you all of you are studying english also so if i use cold as noun if i use cold as noun there will be increase in the cold i'm using cold as noun but if i'm using cold as adjective i'm saying december will be colder in pune so cold am i using it as adjective am i using it as noun in sanskrit it is used as noun but i can change in english december will be colder in pune that means november will be little less october is not cold that is the meaning of it and this is called as sense translation we don't translate word to word shaityam is used in noun so i will also write noun no i can say cold as adjective also colder so this is sense translation we can't always translate word to word it's better to translate word to word don't leave any word but sense also important you can change the style because the language in which you are translating that language has that style in english december will be more or colder in english you will have december will be colder than november or than october because when you are using colder you always compare in english so compare it with other but it's not mentioned in some sentence so better to use it will be more or it will be cold in december it will be more cold in december or best way word to word translation the cold will increase in the month of december in pune the cold will increase in the month of december in pune so many options are there even if you translate sense translation even if you write it's not wrong you can say colder but in english whenever you use colder it's always colder than yes and we are not using than here it's not said october or november marathit kasa karnar मराठी ट्रांसलेशन एकदम सोप है
Now you can read the first question. Try to do the first question on your own. The first question of this paper. It's comprehension passage. You have to read the passage and answer the questions. Read that. It's a passage, paragraph which you have to read. Try to do it. It's a simple passage. The first question of this paper. You can solve the whole paper at home. Huh? It's a good practice. I have sent you the whole paper. But there are some mistakes in that paper. It was my first draft, which I have sent to you two, two years back. After corrections, I have not sent it to you. So there are some mistakes in it. Just don't ignore those mistakes. Just practice. Try to read the paragraph. It's a simple paragraph, simple passage. And try to find out the answers. Sadharan. Thoda sami parva valliya already kasa asin to. Thoda sa ikade tikade hoto. Sadharan asat asna. Sadharan asat. Mi parva tumhala sa inna kada chit fill in the blanks. Tin table complete kara dein. Ata ithe tumhala dhitiya lihaar chutur filiya asa dile. Thoda sa badal to to. Pan sadharan haats pattern. Try to read the first paragraph. Reading practice also is required. Who will read one one sentence? Each one will read one sentence. Hmm. Very good. Ujjwala has read the first sentence. Can you read the second one now? Yes. Prataha Chatraha Mama Gramat Vidyalayam Agachanti. Prajwal. Anyam Draha Gramam Draha Abhi Chatraha Atra Patanaya Samagachanti. Perfect. Swa. Vidyalaya. Vidyalaya. Layasya. Correct. Oh, Anantaram Kachanti. Start practicing reading. You have reading test, I have told you. So start practicing. Read. Read the passages. Start practicing because you are making mistakes in reading. Next sentence. Yes, me. Te from te. Patanti. Vida Vishayan Patanti. Next. Yes. Hey. Next sentence. Wants to come. Atta ho to tumso. Zala ka tumso. Tumso udya. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
Next sentence again, geology. Next. Next sentence. Next paragraph, second sentence. Udhyanasya. No, next sentence. Next. Correct. Next one. Atra Pushpana Bhavaha Prakaraha. Santi. Hm, Prakara has indeed. Prakara Hanima, Tara Hm, Hm, Gunjanti. Next, is other, Hm, Yes, yes. Now try to understand the questions. I know the passage, you will not understand each and every word. I know that. I know that. But still, you can answer the questions. How? I will show you how. You don't understand each and every word. You understand few words, you don't understand few words. That's true. For them, it's quite easy because they know Udhyana, they know Vidyalaya, they know Ramaniya. For Marathi and English, Hindi speaker, it's easy. For you, it's difficult. But still, you can try. How? For example, Vidyalaya Kutra Asti. The question is Vidyalaya Kutra Asti. And you, you know the meaning of Kutra? Where? So search where Vidyalaya something place is. Show, check. Check where it is written in the passage. Vidyalayaha, first line only says Vidyalayaha, Gramasya Samipe Asti. Samipe is near and Grama is village. So the school is near the village. So that's Kutra Asti, Vidyalayaha, Gramasya Samipe Asti. Next question is Vidyalayasya Prathana Sabha Katham Asti. We have learned seven words. Do you remember? Kim, Kutra, Kati, Kada, Kutaha, Katham, Kimartham. K. All K questions we have learned. So, Katham is how. So, they have asked how. And what they have asked how? Prarthana Sabha. So, where will you get Prarthana Sabha? Check the sentence in the passage where you have Prarthana Sabha. Yes, Vidyalaya se Prarthana Sabha, Ativa, Manorama, Asti. So, like that, you can even if you don't understand the meanings of each and every word. Still, you can answer the most of the questions, not each and every, but most of the questions because I have taught you these seven words. Kim, Kutra, Kati, Kada, Kutaha. Please remember them. Katham and Kimartham. Let's quickly revise them. He means who, what, Kutra is where, Kati is how many, Kada is when, Kuta is from where, Katham is how, and Kimartham is why. So if you know them, you can still search. We have learned them few classes back. I don't remember exactly when, but we have learned them. I think when we were discussing about the Indic lineables, that time we have learned them. 
so they are used in the questions so from there you can guess what will be the question and then search go to the passage and search the answer so it will not be difficult then how many when kuta is from where how why all the bridge questions kati mane kiti how many kati always will be the number as the answer छात्रा कुछ पुस्तक आनयती कुछ फ्रॉम वेर सो सर्च इन द पैसेज पुस्तक आनयती यस एंड कुछ आंसर विल बी फ्रॉम वेर सो फ्रॉम मीन आंसर विल बी इन एबलेटिव सो पुस्तक इज यूज इन एबलेटिव सो दैट्स द करेक्ट आंसर सो यू कैन गेस वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू ऑल वेर नमे स्टूडेंट्स even if you don't understand each and every word of the unseen passage given to you you can guess work and you can get the answer without dictionary because you don't have dictionary right now in open book test you will have dictionary you can open any dictionary and check but in closed book test you will not have dictionary yes अध्ययन किचुअली साधारण पैटर्न कहला ना तुम्हारा पेपर दिन अपना का प्रैक्टिस संस्कृत इंग्लिश इंग्लिश संस्कृत ट्रांसलेशन रहते आज कर साधारण तुम्हारा कल्पना है ना का पेपर विथ यू This is a little older paper, two years back. Art form correct. 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 षष्टी विचार षष्टी लिया अख्खा शब्द लिया संग गोष्ट वेगी अख्खा एक शब्द लिया संग बाकी शब्द कश चेक करना मैं एक षष्टी एक द्वितीय एक चतुर्थी विचार लिया इन द पैसेज देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज बेस्ट ऑन लिटरेचर And the second question is grammar based. If you check the second question, part two of that, section two, write any two words of ablative form. So go to the passage, search ablative, and write them. Go to the passage, search past tense, write them like that. Some grammatical questions, some textual questions. So I hope you have understood the pattern how it can be worked out.
Your homework for this week is to solve this paper. It will help you for your test. For your open book test also and for your closed book test also it will help you. So solve this paper. The whole paper you can solve in writing as homework. Online for a doubt side come. Anyone has any doubt online? YOLO. How are you, YOLO? Sunilji. Nine problem. Nine a doubt. Paper Patola, the Chapraman is other and pattern as Nare. I'm a practice color, the Pramane. Woman. Okay, I will stop the class because you need some 10 minutes break in between because you have one more class from 5 to 7 and that is Audan Shatak. You need some break for your mind. So I'll stop the class now.